What's up guys, my name is Brandon and iOS 12.3.1 has been out for about a week now and since I've been out of the house pretty much every day since it's released, I have a great idea as to how this update runs on a daily basis. And the only reason I mentioned that I've been out of the house a lot lately is because iOS 12.3.1 was an update focused on fixing voice over LTE calls and connectivity issues that a lot of us have been facing over the past couple of months. So I just wanted to give you guys an update a week later to see if iOS 12.3.1 actually does improve cell connectivity connectivity at all. So we're going to get to my experience with LTE connectivity in a minute, but let's start off with the performance of iOS 12.3.1. So for me personally, performance hasn't really been a big issue for months now. I mean, Apple has really nailed down most of the bugs in iOS and the latest iOS releases, and I really haven't had many complaints at all. I mean, especially you guys that watch all my videos, you would know that I very rarely complain about the performance because Apple has really nailed down a lot of the issues that I was facing in the past. Now, I was satisfied with the performance of iOS 12 12.3 and iOS 12.3.1 is literally the exact same in terms of performance. There's not going to be any difference at all. I haven't noticed any kind of difference in animations, especially with like the control center. Sometimes the control center will be a little bit slow and going in and out of applications. Like when you go into an application and go back, sometimes there will be a stutter, but there has not been any of that in iOS 12.3.1 or iOS 12.3. Everything has been running really smooth on iOS 12.3.1. So there's really no complaints at all when it comes to performance. Now, when it comes to battery battery life, this is the same story as with performance. You're not going to notice an upgrade at all over iOS 12.3. And after a week of using iOS 12.3.1, I'm still getting around the same battery life as I got with iOS 12.3. So I'm going to go in here and show you my battery stats. Now, obviously this doesn't tell the whole story, but it will give you an idea as to how much I'm actually using my device when I'm charging it, what percentage I'm going down to and things like that. So you can see here, I got about seven hours and 40 minutes of screen on and screen off combined time over the last 24 hours. But you can see I have have charged my phone since then. And if we go to my last 10 days, you can see I'm averaging about eight hours and 50 minutes of screen on time and about 12 minutes of screen off time. So yeah, like I said, battery life is the same. I'm still going to bed with about 20% battery remaining, sometimes a little bit less because I have been using my phone more. Uh, sometimes it'll be like around 10 to 15%, but it just depends on how much I'm using the phone on a daily basis. But it's going to be the same as iOS 12.3. No major difference there at all. And now finally, let's discuss the most important part of this update, and that is the cell connectivity and the voice over LTE calls. So I told you guys back on iOS 12.2 how I had some major issues with cell connectivity and how iOS 12.3 fixed it for me for the most part. But now after using iOS 12.3.1, I can tell the iOS 12.3 did not fix all of my LTE connectivity issues entirely. And since I've been out of the house a lot more lately, I have been relying a lot more on LTE and just cell connectivity more than Wi-Fi. Like normally I'll be in the house a lot and I use Wi-Fi a lot and I'll just use LTE for maybe, you know, a couple hours a day. But lately over the past, you know, 10 days or so, I've been using LTE a lot more and I can tell you that I do notice an improvement in connectivity when it comes to voice over LTE and just overall cell connectivity when it comes to even the bars in the status bar there. So like I've mentioned, I've noticed how I don't have one bar like pretty much ever anymore. Normally when I would even go into my bathroom, I would have one bar of connection there. Now I know that doesn't really prove anything just because of your bars. That doesn't necessarily mean that you have bad signal, but I've noticed how I haven't even gone down to one bar. I don't even think I've seen it once since I've used iOS 12.3.1. But more importantly, I don't have failed calls anymore. So this was something I noticed in iOS 12.2 and iOS 12.3, maybe even before that, but I just kind of chalked it up as being a random issue with just cell towers or something like that. So sometimes phone calls just wouldn't even go through. Like I will call somebody inside my phone application and nothing will happen. The phone will just kind of freeze up. It doesn't actually freeze up, but the call doesn't go through. It doesn't even ring once. It'll just kind of sit there and it'll wait and it'll wait and nothing will happen. And then it will eventually say call failed. But with iOS 12.3.1, I've not encountered that one time. So I would say that that is an improvement from the past, like iOS 12.2, 12.3, and maybe even before that. So yeah, it's definitely great that iOS 12.3.1 fixes those issues, but there are some other annoying issues that still linger in iOS 12.3.1. And the main one for me is the fact that I don't get notification badges on my phone application. And I've been facing this for a while now, and it's still not fixed in iOS 12.3.1 for some odd reason. So basically what happens is if I get a phone call and I miss the phone call, I will not get a badge, uh, you know, with the number one, like you see on my text right 
right there on the phone application. Sometimes it won't even show up in my notification center. So I will have no clue that I missed the call until I actually go into the phone app and then see the little one there on recent. So this is something that's still not fixed in iOS 12.3.1. And this has been happening for a while now and it's super annoying. So I cannot wait for Apple to fix this. I've tried resetting all my settings inside of notifications. Like if I go to notifications, you can see I clearly have all notifications on. I've tried toggling them on and off and still nothing changes. I still have that bug here in 12.3.1. Now when it comes to the Wi-Fi connectivity, I've not had any major issues here on iOS 12.3.1. I did have a small bug the other day, uh, but it's probably just an anomaly. I couldn't connect to my Wi-Fi until I turned it off and then back on, but it only happened that one time. So I wouldn't really say that that's a major issue here in 12.3.1. So yeah, aside from the notification bug on the phone application, everything else in iOS 12.3.1 is running perfectly fine. I don't have any complaints at all. So obviously if you're still thinking about updating to 12.3.1, if for some reason you haven't done so yet, I would definitely recommend it. Even if you're on iOS 12.3, it could really improve, you know, some issues and fix some issues that you didn't even know you had. Plus any kind of fix to the LTE and the cell connectivity is always a plus, especially for the newer phones who've been facing a lot of issues like the iPhone 10 R, the 10 S max and the iPhone 10 S. We've been having a lot of issues with connectivity really since release. So it's always nice to see modem firmware updates and just updates, you know, regarding LTE and connectivity. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I just wanted to give you an update on iOS 12.3.1 and how it's been running. So let me know down in the comment below if you have 12.3.1 on your device and how it's been running for you. I'm really curious to see if it's running as good for you guys as it is for me. And if you guys did enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Of course, make sure to subscribe. iOS 13 comes out on Monday. Beta 1 comes out on Monday. I will be live streaming that. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. It's going to be really fun, a really fun live stream. So definitely make sure you tune in. I'm probably going to go live tomorrow as well on Sunday, just kind of a pre iOS 13 stream just to talk to you guys and basically test everything out and make sure I have everything up and running right. But anyways, make sure you guys stay tuned to that. Follow me over on Twitter. I will be posting updates over there as well. And thanks again for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you soon.